So within a matter of weeks, I found myself as the head of political strategy for a global movement that was in 60 cities. At the end of the second rebellion, we had Cantor, the ad agency, do a media monitoring on the earned media that we got over two weeks, and it was $1 billion in advertising equivalent. That was the level of impact that we had. But I was working crazy hours, 7 to 11 at night, months and months on end, being spied on by the police, being exposed in the media, being sent emails saying that I had a couple of days to leave the country or everything about me would be exposed. It was a phenomenal, unbelievable level of stress and pressure. It was a real baptism of fire of senior leadership. And on the outside, I presented as cool and calm and collected. But really what I was doing was that I was taking Valium in between meetings. I would turn the Zoom camera off and take a Valium. I would take ibuprofen. I would do anything that I could. I would leave media interviews and go straight into a pub and have two pints before going back into the office. That's how I dealt with it, by numbing and by distracting and by avoiding and just convincing myself it was just for this sprint. And so I went in the space of two weeks to the situation I described at the beginning, from taking on Boris Johnson in the media to wanting to kill myself. How did that happen? Well, in the end, I resorted to a dopamine supplement called L-Dopa, and I did that to basically manage PTSD symptoms. And what I didn't know was that dopamine not just regulates your mood, it also regulates your motor function. And all of a sudden, after months and months of taking it, my legs started to shake during the day and at night. And what I didn't realize is that if you induce an exogenous supply of dopamine, the complex system of the body compensates by stopping its own endogenous internal supply. I panicked, I quit cold turkey, and I went into a severe dopamine withdrawal that was the equivalent of coming off basically a 20-year cocaine addiction. For four months in the winter of 2019, every single day I was shivering and basically wanting to kill myself, and it was absolutely brutal. And so that was a couple of years ago. That shifted and pushed a lifetime equilibrium of broadly speaking good health into a situation that was beyond the pale.